to record another portion of this series on the same day because I had extra time. So next, we'll talk about your calendar. If you're a planner user or if you're your phone user, either one, take out your phone, take out your calendar, and look at what you have going on that week. We go to church on Sunday, we go to church on Wednesday. Um, usually Chad has a meeting or two on Tuesday and Thursday's my day off, so I end up trying to make like a nicer meal where it takes a little bit of extra time to prepare it because I have a little bit of extra time that day. Um, let's say you're going out with family, you have company coming over. Take a look at what you have planned and look, I'm looking at my calendar, that's what I keep looking down at. Take a look at what you have planned and see what's going on. So like this day, we ended up having dinner with my dad. So I didn't plan a meal for that day because there was no need to. So on your calendar um, or your paper, you can number it with the date. I would do that for the longest time and I stuck it on the fridge. Tip or side note, I should say. My Caleb is about as organized as mommy and he loves to know what we're making on what day. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just because I make it accessible to him, but he often looks at the calendar, what are we having for dinner tonight in the morning? And he will then see, oh, we are having biscuits and gravy on Tuesday the 30th. That's one of my family's favorite biscuits and gravy. And um, it's just kind of nice because it's right there for the family to see as well, and it's right there for you to remember. Instead of going, oh, what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? You can look at it that morning and pull out the chicken. Oh, we're having baked chicken pieces. Let me go get the chicken out of the freezer. You can look at it the night before, do the same, put it in the refrigerator to thaw out. That way you get kind of a head start on your meals. So, take a look at your calendar. What do you have going on that week? Where do you have to go? What sports are your kids in? What activities do you have going on? and plan your meals according to that for the first two weeks. We get paid every two weeks. This is how I used to do my meals, every two weeks. I'm trying to do it month, I'm trying to not go shopping nearly as much. Um, one thing is when you go into a grocery store or any store, you end up buying more than you originally had planned. So I'm trying to stick to buying my bulk non-perishable, no, yeah, non-perishable items at one time for the entire month and then going back two weeks later on the next payday and getting my fruits, vegetables, milk, eggs, and if I didn't stock up on enough bread, bread. So for, tip, for plan number two, look at your schedule, plan according to the days, the meals that you're going to make. You can still look at your sales ad, see what they have on sale, Look in your pantry, always look in your pantry and look in your freezer because there's nothing worse than getting to the store and not remembering if you had soy sauce for this recipe or if you had um, a cream of chicken soup and then you buy it and you come home and you've got two of them or three of them, now you got four. So tip number two, a two week plan, look at your calendar, look at the ad, write your menu and then write your grocery list. I hope you all have a blessed day. Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you are finding any of these tips helpful. If you have any questions or any suggestions or if you have anything that you enjoy doing with your family as far as meal planning, please leave it in the comments below and have a wonderful day.